Hi, I'm Sean Arnold, and this is another brief, brave attempt in learning. I'm going to show you how to set up your printer connections from your computers. I'm specifically going to be looking at how we connect printers in the New York City Department of Education, but this will work across the board. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to the printer itself to find out information about it. What kind of device it is, uh, what is its name, what is the IP address. It might be easy and it might show it right there directly on the printer, but if not, you can go on to the settings of the printer itself, check out its properties, the port address, and it should give you the IP address and the name of that printer. Now that you've figured that out, you can go over to your computer for step two. The second step is adding that printer to your device. The first part of that is downloading the printer driver for the specific type of printer you're using. Now that software may walk you completely through the installation process and setup of your printer. If so, great, you're done. If not, you're gonna have to add it manually, which brings us to step three. How you do that depends on the kind of device you have, but it is a little more complicated in a DOE situation since you might have different networks like the wireless one, the classroom one, and the administrative one, and they don't all necessarily talk very well to each other. So we're gonna go straight to adding that IP address for your device. First for a Mac. Go on into the system preferences, go on into printers, and then go ahead and hit that little plus button you see. From there you can go to the IP address and just go ahead and type it in. It should be able to find your printer if you're at all connected on the network. Then you can go ahead and select the appropriate type of printer, give it any name you want, and click OK, and it should be added. Now let's look at a Windows computer. Head on over to settings, and then devices, and then you can hit the add a printer or scanner button. Now, if you don't see it, you can choose that the printer you want isn't listed. Then you can go ahead and add it by using a TCP IP address or host name. That's where you can go ahead and type in that IP address that you found, and you should be able to locate your printer and install the appropriate driver for it. There you go. It's a bit different on a Chromebook. If you didn't see it when you first hit the print button, well, you can select add manually or you click the gear icon to go all the way to settings. You can scroll all the way down and click advanced. Then you can find the printing section and click printers. Go ahead and select add printer, pick a name for your printer, whatever you want, and then you can go ahead and add the printer's IP address. Go ahead and select the protocol, it'll generally be IPP, and select a queue, most again will be IPP print, or you could just leave it blank. Go ahead and click add and it should work. Honestly, I'm not very big on printing anything, but one of those three methods should have gotten you connected to your device. I hope it all works for you. Don't forget to laminate so it lasts longer.